For some reason, we lost audio for the first section of video, so I'll fill in the key points. We are in the Tampa area and went to the RV Super Show and thought it would be a good time to do a walkthrough on our Taximantis and how a family of four lives full time in it. Since there isn't a lot of space inside, we have a watertight shoe bin that can sit outside the camper and keep everything dry. Inside the door, we have the perfect size garbage can. It sits right below one of the light switch panels and storage cubbies that hold some of our awning equipment, composting bags, and bike lights. And here's when the audio kicks back in. Our laundry basket, which typically hangs here. We have another one except... Except we have a lot of laundry to do, yeah. so we got that one out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's come on in and Bella talk about your area. First my bed and I'm usually hanging out with in here like a lot of the time in the day and I do school in here and I watch shows in here and pretty much in here <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah it's a comfortable spot to hang out isn't it? Yes and I have pictures and magnets of all my friends and stuff and stuff I've taken. I have yep. lights right here and I have one back here I can turn on and then I have LED lights when I want to plug those in which I don't always have them in. Then um, I have a coat rack over here at the bottom yeah. that our dad yeah, made. Yeah, we made that and we've, it's a combination of some things from Ikea and some paracord and, and it became a yeah. hanging rack. Then we have my sweatshirts are like all up here. Um, as you can see, they're very organized. Yep. And then where else do we store clothes? Um, we store most of our clothes under the bed too. Like I have a bathing suit bin, I have bins for all my clothes and then I do have one in with some art stuff and then Jackson and Jackson's there. stuff is down under bin. this side and we're actually able to fit some toys and stuff under there too right and that is pretty much all my bed other than we have a window over yep. here that we can easily open and close which I really like that window it's very nice. all right I'm gonna take over for this part yeah so right here we have our composting toilet which I don't know if any of you have seen it I haven't done any videos specifically on this setup yet but we remove the shower toilet assembly so that when we're off grid we're not limited by the cassette toilet and then we can also use the outside shower which i think is great we've actually had this same composting toilet for quite a few years and in multiple different rvs and we love it yeah it's i mean awesome. it is nice yeah and it's really easy to use. It's not like hard or anything. Like, yeah, it's very my friends simple. have spent the night and they think it's a little weird, but it's not hard for them or anything. <laughs> and I will say this is something that Christina found. Um, and I'll probably have to grab her and, and she can tell you where we got them from or we'll throw it in the exactly. comments. Target. But they're little hanging baskets. And since the taxa has attachment holes everywhere for carabiners, we use these things all over the place yeah, for clips and small personal items. Yeah. Um, we use them to hang our bungees and some cleaning stuff. We've got one over at the bed here that actually holds our electronics and they're phenomenal. Yes, now let's move on to the next part. Okay guys, now we have the kitchen area. We use this a lot in a camper. And um, first over here we have our sink which is pretty easy to use because it just gets hotter if it's up high like this and colder if it's down low and this is adjustable so when you're washing dishes it's pretty easy to use and we do have a dishwasher cleaner thing because <laughs> <laughs> that helps a lot and, yep. and we have on-demand hot water in yes. here that's part of this along with the heat and that's with the truma system that's yeah 
back behind the cabinet in here. It works nice. And then over here, we have our stove. Um, we use this like daily. Yep, because, cooking dinner. Yeah, for dinner, sometimes, sometimes for lunch. Lunch, we do some grilled cheese and yeah. some wraps and stuff and like that. Tastes really delicious when dad makes it. Then in the back, we have all the storage for things we use. Like in here, we have spices, and just in here, we have like the pot we use for dad making coffee, some coffee stuff, and just like it holds yeah. things really good. Then coffee, dad's coffee, coffee, coffee. You then cannot go without tea. coffee. Team. And then we hang our clips and also as you can see we have a lot of magnets because um it's yeah, just we how we love, like to decorate. We love collecting yeah. magnets you can in see different in my places bed that we had a lot. That we travel. And, and then pictures from our trips too. Yeah. And also we have a Berkey water system. It works so nice because we can put in any water and it filters it through and it just comes out right here. Fresh and clean. Yeah, fresh and clean and yeah, so this works really nice and we use it on a daily. And then down here we have some drawers that hold our food. Like we have some cereal and just snacks. And down here we put all of our just utensils our and stuff. Plates and bowls and Yeah, and as you can see we have one over here. Yep. And we have drawers. another one over here and this one does this holds most of our cooking, so our pots and pans. Yeah. And our silverware, and then we actually have some cooking utensils that hang right in here. And our towel. And yep. That's really all we have for the kitchen area. And that's our kitchen area. All right, and now Bella's gonna go through the other side here on um, where we organize some different things and then also our fridge. Yes, so over here, um, this one is for medicine and vitamins and stuff, which are something we use on a daily. And down here are two school bins Jax has one and I have one. We have some games in them too we play and they hold all of our school stuff in one spot and it ends up working really well. Then on top of here we usually have like electronics and stuff that we yeah. use. Like the GoPros, computers. And this is usually a dumping yeah. zone for us too so this counter does get usually pretty packed up but right now we've got it nice and organized. Um, and we have some books yep. that mom uses and just our mail and yep. letters. And our little, our little mail, mail file. And then we always have these clips here. Yeah, that which, are clipping up some things. Yeah, we have them for holding the pictures, but the other great thing that we use them for, and we got this from uh, another family that we watch, is every campground that we go to, we take the information and we clip it right by the door here. Because, just in yeah. case we need something, reference material real quick, we can, we can get it. And then we have our Dometic fridge, which works very well for us. Um, so this can be both fridges, both freezers, or one fridge and one freezer. Right now we have it all as fridge because we don't usually use a bunch of stuff in the freezer. And inside, this one has two layers, an upper half and a lower half. And this side usually holds our like meat and just Lunch leftovers. stuff and things like that. And then over here, usually we have our drinks and kind of like fruits and... Veggies and stuff like that. Yeah, condiments. Milks. And then under here we just hold some extra food that we have like so the like yeah. drinks and different things that we have extras we have a little cubby down here that we can fit them under and the bungee just helps Bunches keep them and from eggs. sliding around and over here we have this like holds our chips or like some type of sort of snacks that we have and then we have cuties back here which are yep. really delicious on the go more clips you'll see these everywhere we've got magnet clips everything to hold our bananas and um, we have our fan has... yes which are pretty cool we yeah. use these every day to keep air circulating in here right now we have the windows open because it's it's really nice out today yeah and sometimes it looks a little reddish of a tint yeah. if the windows are closed so they yeah, it gets nice a little orange fan. tint so it's nice having the windows open yeah now let's move on to the next place so this dinette and bed is we use it for so many things on a daily basis. Um, for instance, Jax uses it for school and mom and dad uses it for sleeping, obviously. And right now, usually both sides look like that, except we have this head up right here because it's nice for Jax because Jax is a little smaller, so it just puts him up a little bit. It's also really comfy to sit on the side. Yeah, and lean back. And the table spins, so you can spin it whatever way you want, which I think is really fun. Same with Jax. And 
um, you have some towels hanging up here because it's just nice storage. Yeah, for all there's them. a towel bungee rack there, yep. and then the same hanger system that Bella has. Me and Christina yeah. have for hanging coats and a bunch of different stuff like that. We got an intruder on our video right here. Jack's man. <laughs> underneath the bed, um, Dad stores some stuff on that side. And yep, so stuff on this side. Which... My clothes go on this side underneath here, and these do actually hinge and flip up, which does make it a little bit more accessible, but you can also just slide the bins right out. And good. Christina's stuff is all under this side. And then along the back, uh, there's even more storage underneath we there. We usually put our school bin stuff, like Dad there's, has stuff that corrects our school yep, stuff. Yep, some teacher it. stuff for school. And we have some camel packs, our Patagonia bags that we use if we're going to go someplace and leave the trailer. Yeah, like if we stay at Grandma Yvonne's or something. Yep, and at Grandma and Grandpa's. And then there is actually another cubby back behind here. It's hard to see, but it's right It's behind there. the drawer system. And Mom keeps a lot of her hair stuff and sometimes books back there. Yep. And yeah, and it's really nice because we use this bed so much. And it's a pretty good size bed when it's out. It is a good size. So when we fold this all down, typically we've got a laptop up here. And we put our heads all along yeah. the back here and we lay facing this way. And it's movie night on a on a daily. Yeah, we do a lot of movies. That's what we do. And it's pretty easy to set up because Dad sets it up pretty quick. And yeah, it just takes like a minute or two. Basically, all you have to do is. Take and we have this four-inch memory foam pad that's on our bed, which makes the bed super it didn't comfortable. Exactly, come with it. Except yep. It's nice because we like, added that in. Yeah, it's nice. And then we have our air conditioning unit right here. And Starlink. Starlink set up so we can stream and do whatever we need to. Anything else to add to the uh, camper tour? Honestly, the only other thing we have is Jackson's bed up here. Yep, so let's flip around let's and check that. Hello, we are now by Jackson's bed. Um, right now it's up in the daytime and usually at night it's down because that's where Jackson sleeps. Yep. And we have a video on that. It's one of our most popular yes. videos is the floating bed. We just, Taxa had a great bunk set up where it would convert down into a sofa over there. Yeah, except it, it was like a It was very tight. tight. Yes. So there wasn't enough height for Bella to sit up. Uh, barely Jax. enough room for Jax to <laughs> crawl in there. Yeah, so this has worked phenomenal. And as I explained on the video, there's actually zero alterations to the taxa trailer. Everything clips right in in existing holes. And so far it's been great. I mean, sometimes in the morning he even just hangs out up in there after yeah. he wakes up. And it's a pretty nice place to hang out. And it's pretty roomy. Me, Jack, Dad, and Mom, as you've seen in the video, can all sit up there. So, yep, it's good yeah, for everyone. Yeah, the bed holds 700 pounds, so. Really nice. It's very just sturdy. Use this out of like one of those rope type of screen things, which is awesome. But I hope you guys have fun watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.